Ben Dror Yamini is an Israeli journalist and author, and Uri Zaki is the founder of the Front for the Protection of Democracy and chairman of the Merit Executive Board. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Now, Ben Dror, I want to start with you. Uh, the country looks like it's slowly coming out of its second wave, and the lockdown might be lifting as early as this week. Yet the left-wing protesters, as well as the ultra-Orthodox, continue to defy the orders. Will lifting the lockdown calm the political climate at the moment in Israel? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, many decisions are uh, accepted only because of political reasons, not because of uh, uh, the experts in health or uh, whatever. And uh, what we see right now, yes, uh, the two the two sides, which mean ultra orthodox Haredim, and uh, many among the demonstrators, are violating the rules. I mean, they don't. They keep distance, uh, many of them, and uh, each one of us who is uh, just uh, passing by in, uh, in many places, uh, we can all see that many people just do not put the masks as uh, they are asked. And uh, yesterday I joined uh, the demonstration in Tel Aviv. Uh, it was a big one. Thousands uh, were marching. And uh, many of them do not keep, needless to say, that they do not keep distance. So both sides, both sides are making things difficult. And even if we are on our way to maybe to, to uh, uh, solve the problem, uh, I am afraid that because so many people from both sides are not keeping the rules, uh, it, it's, uh, it's going to be very limited, the relief. Right, and even at those protests, protests without uh, people that are attending them wearing masks, there are a lot of critics uh, against the government's policies that say, you know, this is not good for our democracy. Uri, the next question's for you. What do you have to say to those politicians that try to limit the protests? Is it helping or hurting the situation? Uh, first of all, uh, Lauren, I, I resent your question to Ben Dror. You put an equivalent between the demonstrations that changed altogether the way they demonstrate. They follow the rules of the government. The government said you have to demonstrate only 1,000 meters, one kilometer, uh, half a mile from where you reside, and um, and and uh, to do it in, in smaller groups. You know, before those uh, rules, you had a huge demonstration of, of, of tens of thousands in front of the uh, prime minister's uh, residence. So there is an acceptance by the uh, demonstrators of the government's rules. There, there are always exceptions, but they are minor. Well, with regard to the uh, Haredi Jews, we are seeing, by the way, both here and in New York at the moment, we see just uh, a real anarchy. We see that uh, there, is, there is a decision not to follow the government's rules. And by the way, if the demonstrations would have been a health care problem, then we would have seen an eruption in, uh, in Tel Aviv, in uh, Ramat Sharon, in Givatai, in all these cities from which the demonstrators come. We don't see that. What we do see is 40% of the cases of new uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, cases come from the Haredi section, which is only one ten percent of the Israeli population. So stop with the demag demagoguery. There is no equivalent between the demonstrations, which are very important in a time of crisis where you see no management, to uh, a specific section. And again, not all of it. There are exceptions there. But you see the Haredi uh, sector in Israel in, at large, you see there, there, there's no acceptance of, of the government's um, uh, guidance, and then they say it out loud. So the, I don't see any uh, equivalent. With regard to politicians, the biggest problem, and I think only now Netanyahu understands that, the, the, what's uh, uh, inherent in your question is exactly what Netanyahu achieved, but it's uh, uh, biting him uh, in a, in a uh, sensitive uh, uh, spot in the body. And, and the reason is, we see that Netanyahu is over uh, uh, occupied with the demonstrations and letting what's happening in the Haredi section, the ultra-Orthodox section, just continue happening. But what's happening in the reality is we see that the eruption is, is so severe in the Haredi sector, and there's nothing in the rest of the country. But he can't, because he's, he's uh, uh, indicted, because he's facing a criminal trial, he has to have the political weight of the, of the Haredi uh, politicians. And he can't defy what they're telling him. And they're telling him, no way are you going to isolate us from the rest of the country. No way there's going to be a difference between the Haredi towns 
and cities to the rest of the country. And that's why Netanyahu cannot go on being the prime minister of Israel in a time of crisis. So, Ori, what do you think is a, a sort of better way for the government to approach this? Do you think that they shouldn't put any restrictions at all? I'm curious. What is your opinion on that? Of course, there has to be. Uh, there have to be restrictions. And I, by the way, I publicly uh, said that I that I uh, uh, that I support the lockdown. We came to a situation where, because of negligence of the prime minister, because of his own political and criminal and legal situation, he did not deal with the coronavirus eruption uh, in, in, in specific towns. We came to a, uh, to a situation where we had to have a lockdown, a national lockdown. But now, in order to get out of the lockdown, you need to have only healthcare guidelines in order to, uh, to change the situation. Now, I don't see Netanyahu able doing that because of his situation, and therefore, Regardless if you think he's guilty or not guilty, it's, it's, it's out of the point right now. A person that is totally dependent on his political allies in order to save his neck from going to jail cannot run a national crisis of this magnitude. I want to pose the next question to Benj Rohr. Uh, obviously, you know, we just mentioned that Bibi is going through, you know, uh, a corruption trial right now. Um, and we also might be going to an election. So I wonder, what is going to happen in the Israeli political sphere? And will Benny Gantz ever get to be the prime minister? Or will Netanyahu put a stop to that? It's uh, the million dollar question. Uh, I wish I could answer you, but I cannot. Uh, I'm not a prophet. Uh, I do know, and we all know, actually, that, uh, that Netanyahu, as long as he doesn't want to uh, 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 ratify in the Knesset the budget, uh, the meaning is that he doesn't mean to uh, to uh, uh, to fulfill his part in the uh, coalition uh, agreement. So, uh, I mean, we have only a few weeks in order to understand what's going on. Uh, but no, he doesn't want to uh, uh, let uh, Benny Gantz take his uh, seat. It, uh, so, uh, probably, if there will not be any surprise, it will not happen, which means that uh, we might face a new election unless somebody will be able to form a new coalition, something which uh, uh, I cannot foresee, I must admit. Uh, so, it's not good. It's not good for the country. It's not, I'm not sure it's good for uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Maybe he is really impressed from the polls, which... Uh, give the right-wing religious uh, bloc uh, more than 60 seats in the Knesset. I don't know if he can trust it. I don't know if he cannot. Uh, situation is not good. And yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, he is not behaving according to the national interest. He is behaving according to his own personal interests. And, I, and I just want to ask. I, I, I do. I hope. I hope uh, something will change. But but I'm not quite optimistic. All I right, we are running out of time. I just want to ask Uri really, really quickly. I want to know uh, if you believe if Netanyahu is hearing what the protest movement is telling him. Uh, look, I don't think Netanyahu again. I don't. Netanyahu is not about uh, hearing the people, but he sees the polls. He sees the national polls. He sees that he's declining very uh, fast from. Uh, uh, support at the beginning of the crisis, and now he lost uh, some 30% uh, of his uh, uh, support. I think he understands he's in a, a big uh, problem because uh, folks understand, even his supporters, the current ones and, and former ones, understand, as we just heard uh, Ben Rose say, that because of his own personal problems, he doesn't deal with the uh, national interest, but rather he, he makes the calculations of what help, what's helping him in the trial. And therefore, I think you'll hear less from Netanyahu in the coming days about the demonstrations because he understands that focusing too much on the demonstrations cost him uh, with uh, uh, lost uh, votes. Not, right. not, not votes that uh, necessarily support the demonstrations, but saw his disproportionate uh, um, dealing with them. All right. So I think uh, you'll hear less of that. Thank you so much. Uri Zaki and Ben Dror Yamini, thank you both for being a part of this colorful thank conversation. You. Thank, thank you. you.